Hey there everyone, um, welcome to yet another ASP video. I'm sorry for the mess. Um, I know having all these wires makes things look a bit complicated, but um, really it isn't. Um, so yeah, excuse the mess. In this video I want to talk to you about servo control. Okay, now ASP is a little bit different to you know your other boards that offer servo control because ASP actually doesn't have any servo control. Um, on the board there's nowhere for you to connect directly to a servo however it when you team it up with uh, the templates and stuff the, the programs that run on Tanker uh, ER9X or your OpenTX so basically if you have a, a decent programmable radio um, you can use the radio to control your servos and the radio will do a much better job than anything on any tank control board. That is why I've left the servo control to the radio because that's what it's designed to do. I mean, the guys have spent, you know, many, many years working on these radios for the express purpose of controlling servos. So it seems ridiculous to um, do a half hearted attempt. I was going to use the word half assed, but if it fits, um, attempt to put servo control on the ASP when this has years and years of being dedicated just to that, controlling servos. So servo control comes mostly from your radio itself. The only exception to that, um, just to free up a channel and because it, it is quite easy and, and um, the recall servo board has you know, been quite good at what it does, um, ASP does come with if you buy the IR pack, it will come with a servo board modified expressly for um, recoil servo control. Okay, so that does give you a spare channel. So in your IR setup, and we've got ASP set up in an IR mode here, uh, the recoil servo is handled by ASP, which gives you one channel free, channel eight, and that mix that you've seen me rave on about, Mike Blanford's super mix, um, you can use that on channel 8 to control your elevation servo. Okay, so basically we have an elevation servo. Pity I don't have it in that tank, but uh, elevation servo, recoil servo controlling the gun. And now, if you add in, let's see if I can just squeeze it into the picture here. Oh, and everything falls over. If you add on, this is why I love the FR Sky system, if you add on a second receiver, you've got another eight channels. Okay, and with some, again, with the flexibility of the 9X, ER 9X system, you, you, um, also when I say that, I'm also including the Tyrannus. Any radio using that suite of firmware, the ER 9X, Sky ER 9X, um, OpenTX, those customizable firmwares can give you ultimate control over all of your servos. So we have again waffling on so long here we have channel 8 controlling our elevation servo our recoil servo is handled by ASP via the servo board and I've set up a camera and this is a big camera but um, you know I want to show you pan and tilt control using channels 9 and 10 on your radio with a, a, a separate receiver anyhow enough talk ASP is on it's in sitting in the mode where the engine is off, but all the other things are functional. So I fire the machine gun. Okay, so um, it's sitting in that mode at the moment. Now we'll have a look at the recoil servo first. So watch the gun. Okay, so that's ASP taking care of the recoil servo. Also for Graham down at Panzer Group South, he wanted to know about, since I've only mentioned that this port here is for your flash unit. Okay, you can attach a flash unit or just simply by, and I'll show this in another video or another mod instruction somewhere, a uh, high intensity LED can also be attached to the flash port. So when you fire, you'll see the uh, you can use an LED for your flash as well. So that is um, the recoil servo. I've shown you this elevation servo in a previous video, but you know, So 
So you've got your elevation servo happening there. As I said, pity I didn't have it in the tank. But um, so you have really nice control of your elevation servo via the radio. Now, there's another special mix that Mike Blandford showed us um, on the forum. And it's we can now also on the 9X here, and it would be the same on the uh, Tyrannus, we can use these trim switches. Okay. Now, we hardly ever use these trim uh, switches for our turret elevate our turret rotation or our gun elevation so if they're free you can set them up on channels 9 and 10 to control the pan on your camera if you have a camera or any other I'm just using a camera here but you could use any other servo I mean it's up to your imagination so I don't know if I can get this into the video and show you maybe I can just put it over here okay so if you press the trim Okay, you see, you've got a bit of a <laughs> little fall over. Um, you've got, I can't do this, I don't have enough hands. You'll just have to trust me, I'm pressing the trim. Okay, so I'll hold it. You know, you've got your trim there. Okay, it stops at center, the other side. Elevation, we just go use the trim for the elevation. Actually, I'll bring the camera back into a bit more there so you can see the elevation down and up. Okay, so there you see we've got, even though ASP doesn't actually have servo connections on the board, you have multiple options for connecting servos and importantly controlling them really well when you use the 9XR series Tyrannus with the with the, the with custom firmwares. So that's servo support on the ASP. Well, bit of a stretch calling it on the ASP board, but um, there you have it. Thanks, guys.